the throne. And even if the screen goes black, it means that it's saving power. It's not off. Cheeky. I'm ready to do zero reps. Yeah. Come on now. Bonner. Peria. Ma. Power. Theodor, are you ready? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, All right, so that was fun and not fun, but uh, you know, fun. Um, of course, didn't get a rep with a 90 kilogram dumbbell. You know, my personal best is 65, I think. So, of course, I didn't get it. And then with the keg toss, you know, I was just taking taking my time a little too much. You know, I could have gone faster, but I just wanted to make sure to get them all over, do it properly. You know, but that cost me. You know, I think I was 30 seconds something with four while two other guys were ahead of me, or three. So, that cost me some points being too careful, but you know, maybe I wouldn't have gotten them if I hadn't been careful, who knows? But, you know, good experience in the bank. And, uh, of course, a deadlift, I knew, you know, in the warm-up, 230, not too bad, and then went to 260, just didn't get it. My, my lower back, is really pumped just on the right side you know it's weird it's kind of like a feeling before I injured myself so you know and 260 is the weight that I pulled with a normal bar a year ago that I injured myself badly with and it's taken me a year to get back so you know put myself at a high risk high risk of injuring myself again taking a year off and you know taking a taking a year of your rehab and come back next summer with the same exact strength or just skip it and keep progressing until next summer and hopefully hit it then you know it's an obvious answer for me so yeah but it was disappointing you know I, I was I said you know I'm not, I'm not gonna do it but they were like you have to stand there you have to stand there just do try to do it and work I already put my belt away and everything and of course half Thor Bjornsson world's strongest man half Thor Bjornsson half Thor the world's strongest man comes up with his coach, Sebastian Norep, Stefan Sule Peterson, Ari Gunnarsson, Magnus Ver, all the Icelandic legends are there, and they see me fail the lift, you know. That's pretty, that hits pretty hard in the ego, in the pride. But oh well, next year, you know, just gotta focus on myself, 
I'm here for me. I'm not trying to impress people. I'm just doing this for me. It doesn't matter who's watching, the world's strongest man or whatever. It's just for me. So yeah. Well, and hopefully, you know, people understand my dilemma. You know, I'll get there. But yeah, let's keep our spirits up. Next up, Hercules hold. The Icelandic record is 69 seconds with 140 kilograms pulling each way. I want to try to break it, but I'm not sure. You know, I'll try my best. Hopefully 40 plus seconds I'll get. But yeah, we're gonna drive over there right now. So let's go. See you in a bit. Yeah, the Hercules hold didn't go as planned. I was hoping to, you know, break the Icelandic record, as I said, but I don't know, something. I could make a million excuses, you know, what went wrong, what, 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 what went wrong, but, you know, I just, in the end of the day, I just want, wasn't strong enough. But if I'm gonna say what happened wrong, you know, I couldn't really, get, I'm usually put, I can't use my fingers, I put the bar here, not in the fingers, over here. And I couldn't do that for some reason, just, I don't know. And also they removed, they usually had, they had tape before on, on the, um, on the handles. And that wasn't there this time, so, but you know, still didn't get, I ended up like in, Sixth or seventh in the Hercules hold. It's like it's funny because in 2017 I got 49 seconds, and uh, and I won the event, and the next highest time was 39. Now everybody went past 40. You know <laughs> what's going on? Almost everybody, and you know it's just, it, it was crazy. You know I got I got 41.37 I think or something like that. Then another guy got 41.9 and another 43. You know, 48, 50, 52. So, yeah, oh well. And also, one guy told me, you know, if there's something wrong with the nervous system, the first thing to go is your grip. It just naturally happens. 
and I've been dealing with a lot of sleep apnea. You know, I never sleep good, so my central nervous system is just really never that good. So that might also be the cause. But yeah, oh well, that's how it is. The grip isn't. I feel like my grip differs day by day. It's it's funny. It's weird, but yeah. <clears throat> But enough of that, then there was the Atlas stones, 166 kilogram rubber stone. I've never gone to that weight. I've only done, I think 160 or it was 158, I don't know. Um, and that was pretty hard, really hard. So today getting 166 for two reps, as a massive improvement, massive progress. You know, I'm really happy with that. But you know, one of my friends, he got 17 reps. It's like almost like a world record or something, you know, that's just Jesus Christ 17 reps with 166 kilogram stone in the last man standing at the stone variation So yeah, congratulations to him. He was seven reps above anyone else That's crazy. The the, the second place was 10 10 reps. So that's just wow imagine that kind of strength yeah so tonight my girlfriend is actually going if you want to know something about my personal life my girlfriend is going to Cyprus to donate some eggs from her uterus to give to people who have trouble making babies or something yeah she's she's doing this for the fifth time and I'm not going with her and then she's going to Israel she has a good connection with Israel and you know feels like it's her second home so she's gonna be away for until the 18th or 19th, so I'm gonna miss her a lot. Um, so yeah, she's leaving tonight, and yeah, I'm gonna miss her a lot. But tonight I'm gonna go do some hot and cold with the guys. Yeah, try to recover before tomorrow, and then tomorrow we have truck pull, axle press, and then we're finishing off with uh, farmer's walk and morning bit carry, so that's gonna be exciting, you know. Currently, I am in the next to last place with 17 points, and then the the third last is has 19 points, I believe. So you know, I, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Come on, Teddy, you're me, Teddy. Come on, son. Come on, son. Come on, Teddy. Come on, Teddy. Come on, Teddy. 
competition has come to an end it was a really fun competition one of my favorites most definitely um, so much fun hanging out with the guys and you know so much fun to push yourself and see what you can do on the second day the truck pull I did not expect to get third place in that event I was so happy when that happened you know because in 2017 in my last competition in 2017 the last competition before my injury, I placed last in the truck pull in the East Coast Troll or something it's called, I think. Um, East Fjord Troll, something like that. Yesterday, I placed third, only behind Ade Gunnarsson, who is the 11th strongest man in the world um, in 2017. And then Eithor Ingolson Melstedt, who, you know, who did 17 reps with the Atlas Stones. He's so strong. Such a yeah, well-rounded athlete and I was pretty disappointed in myself in the actual clean and press I didn't get one rep like I was trying to do um, I thought it was in the tank but it just wasn't cleaning it up you know changing my thumbs was a, was a problem and you know just felt like so much weight being pushed down you know I wouldn't have pressed it even if I would have gotten up I know that much and well no, it's just time to improve, time to get stronger. And then in the final event, the Farmer's Walk 
25 meters and then after you finish that you can take up the mooring bit carry and carry it all the way over 25 meters so that's 140 kilograms and the farmer's walk is 140 kilograms each hand. In training about two weeks ago I tried to do 130 kilogram farmer's walk I could not pick it up there was just no chance it wouldn't budge and I tried it again a week later couldn't get it up still 130 kilograms no chance but in the competition I was so nervous that I wasn't going to pick up that farmer. So nervous. Bye, babe. And I just, I was just going to give it my all, try to pick it up. Because if I, I know if I can pick it up, I can walk all the way over it. My grip is not going to give. And I managed to do just that. I picked up the 140 kilogram farmers and walked with them all the way. Slowly, but, you know, went all the way. And then just after that, my back was just out. I, you know, I took a little breather, took my belt off because, you know, I've always been training that way. A little more to be carried with the belt off because it can't get in the way. Maybe that was a bad decision. Maybe I would have gone further if I had the belt on. But, yeah, picking up, I was just, I was so toast. My back was just toast. It was completely fried and, you know, out of energy. You know, I don't know how long I got. Maybe 10 meters or something. No, not even that. Maybe seven. Uh, but yeah, really happy with it. In the end of the competition, the strongest man in Iceland in 2019, I placed 11th out of 13 competitors, which I'm really happy with. I was expecting last place, definitely. But managed to, you know, yeah, go to 11th. And it's safe to say, uh, as I mentioned before, my back is now fully recovered from the injury. I feel like my back is at the same strength level, my lower back, in the same strength level as before the injury. So, you know, that's good. And now I'm just going to keep myself injury free, keep getting better until the next summer. And, you know, I'm going to be really excited to what I can, how much I can improve next winter. Of course, the first three places was first place, Ari Gunnarsson, second place. Thomas Dalitosenson, congratulations to him. And in third place, Eitholi Gusomerstev, also con congratulations to him. Those two were fighting for, you know, the second place spot. You know, it was really close, but a lot of fun to watch. And, yeah. Next competition is going to be the Westfjord Viking. And that's in the middle of July. Uh, that was also my first competition back in 2017 ever. So, you know, I'm just going to try to, you know, improve until then. Just taking a little time off this week. Maybe I'll start training again on Wednesday, Thursday. And yeah, then we'll just keep going on the program. On We're probably going to jump on Sebastian Orip's Strength System Program 2. So yeah, overall, happy with my performance. I'm a, I can officially have, call myself the 11th strongest man in Iceland, or I have the title 11th strongest man in Iceland, you know, if that's worth anything. But you know, it's pretty fun to say. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. Please like the video, subscribe, comment if you want. You know, it would really help me a lot, you know, building up this YouTube channel. And yeah, I love you guys. Live long and prosper and keep getting those games. <laughs>